The much-beloved Google Stadia has been fully shut down after three short years of existence. While it's disappointing to see yet another service thrown into the Google graveyard, there's a small bit of good news from the shutdown that I think many will appreciate, which is that the Stadia team released a way to unlock the Stadia controller to be used as a regular Bluetooth controller with other devices. And that's why in this quick tech tip, I'll be going over the process on how to unlock your Google Stadia controller to be used as a Bluetooth controller with other devices, such as your Windows PC or Android phone. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video as I will be going over several things you need to keep in mind before doing this Bluetooth mode change on the Stadia controller. And I recommend watching through all of the steps at least once before beginning this process on your own. One very important thing to keep in mind before starting is that switching is permanent and once you switch your Stadia controller to Bluetooth mode, you can't change it back to use Wi-Fi and Stadia. To do the mode switch, you will need your charged controller, a USB-C data cable that can plug into your computer, and the latest version of Google Chrome installed on your computer. Attempting to do this process in Firefox, for example, will not work and you will be prompted to install Chrome. To get started, navigate to stadia.google.com controller and click on switch to Bluetooth mode. Next, click on start under switch to Bluetooth mode. After, plug your charged Stadia controller into your computer with a USB-C data cable and click on continue. Then on the new screen that appears, click on allow Chrome to verify towards the top of the page. Doing so will open a pop-up window where your Stadia controller is listed. You'll need to then select the controller and click on connect. If everything is connected properly, you should see a verification page like mine and you can click on next step. The next few steps need to be completed in order. First, unplug the controller. It should turn off. If it turns back on, hold down the Stadia button for four seconds. Next, while holding the options button, plug in the controller. The controller status lights should remain off. If they turn on, unplug the controller and try again. Finally, press the options, Google Assistant, Y, and A buttons all at the same time. You should not get any feedback from the controller while doing this. After, click on next step to move forward with the process. On the next page, click on allow Chrome to download. And on the pop-up window that appears again, select your controller. Take note that the controller name will be different from last time. Select your controller and click on connect to have Chrome verify the Stadia controller is unlocked and download the Bluetooth update for it. After the download is completed, you should have a success page. Click on next step to continue. Next, click on allow Chrome to install and select your controller from the pop-up once more. Take note that the controller will have a different name yet again. With the Stadia controller selected, click on connect to start the update. You will then be presented with a progress bar while the controller is updated. Make sure to not unplug the controller during this time. After the update is completed, you'll get a success page indicating that everything is finished. The next time you start the controller, it will start in pairing mode. If you ever need to enter pairing mode again on the controller, you can do so by holding down the Y and Stadia buttons for two seconds. Before going over a few things to keep in mind before starting this process, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube knows that they should show it to other people. The first thing to keep in mind is that in Bluetooth mode, not all devices will be able to work with the Stadia controller. The controller uses Bluetooth low energy, which also means not all features such as pass-through audio will work. Another thing to keep in mind is that this process is only available until December 31st, 2023. After that time, you'll not be able to switch to Bluetooth mode or check for Bluetooth updates for the controller. You can find a list of all devices tested to work with the Stadia controller in Bluetooth mode from the FAQ. After Bluetooth mode is enabled, the Google Assistant and Capture buttons will not do anything when pressed until they are remapped. If you want to verify what mode your controller is, you can do so by clicking on Check Controller Mode from the FAQ and follow the steps. Another thing to keep in mind is that there is no support for this process. There is a Help Center document, but if you run into problems, you will be on your own for trying to get things to work. If you want to be one of the first to know when I release other tech and smart home related videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications. Thank you for watching.